Hey Flower Tribe, it's Kelly Lehman from Cranberry Fields Flower Farm and today I wanted to answer uh, a question that I got sent in and the question was should I still try to cover my endless summer hydrangeas during this cold snap if I miss the first few nights? One of the Flower Tribe members had said that they kind of you know saw that there was a cold snap a little bit late and they had missed the first two nights uh, when temperatures had dropped down to 22 degrees during like a spring cold snap. And so my advice to them is, yeah, sure, if, the, if there are still some green buds on the plant, like I have over here on this hydrangea that's going to come in on the old wood, if you're still seeing signs of this new growth, these, you know, delicate green buds, then by all means cover them when temperatures are going to go down to freezing. So even though the first two nights this plant was not covered, it's still doing pretty well. And a few reasons why I think it's still doing pretty well is number one, it's kind of tucked in here in my backyard. It's tucked in against this variety tree over here. And there's like, you know, like a little stone bar here. And so I think that that kind of blocked a lot of the wind. And, um, you know, so it didn't take a beating from those, you know, super cold winds. And another thing that I think helped it is that I left a lot of the blooms from last summer in place. And I usually do this, number one, because I think that it offers a little bit of protection uh, to these new buds. But I also think that it adds some beautiful winter interest, especially when it snows out. And I think that it offers like a little bit of protection uh, for some of the wildlife. So that's one of the reasons why I leave those in place. And if you'll notice over here, I also leave some of my grasses in place um, for, you know, that protection for some of the birds. We've got some beautiful blue jays that live back here. And I think it also provides some protection for some of like the little critters. Take a look at the last two live videos that I posted this week and it shows how I covered some of my endless summer hydrangeas and I also told you what I did with my limelight hydrangeas and my Annabelle hydrangeas during this spring cold snap so you guys can check that out. I'll give you a quick recap of what those two videos were about. If you've already seen them, feel free to go ahead just a few minutes. So basically, I just took um, some of the endless summer hydrangeas that I had that had some new growth forming on the old wood, and I saw that it was going to snow out. It was going to be 22 degrees out, even though it's March. So what I did was I covered as many of my mop head hydrangeas with sheets. So I just went inside, I got some old sheets that I used to use for like Halloween, and I actually just secured them to the plant using like zip ties and using um, some clothespins, anything I can get my hands on because it was very last minute. Uh, the, the best way to do this is to actually surround the plant with some poles and then just wrap the cloth around it or wrap some burlap wrap around those poles. But I didn't have enough time. I, this had to be like super quick. It was getting super cold, super fast, and I just wanted the job done. So I covered the endless summer. This way you can see what it looks like. The, the best way to do it is to have that cloth or the burlap wrap go all the way to the ground. And so this is what my endless summer looked like when we were getting ready for those, you know, that snowstorm that came in like out of the blue. Now my limelight hydrangea and my endless summer were a totally different story because I know that those hydrangea come in on what's known as new growth. So I took a look at my limelight hydrangea, my Annabelle's, my Incredible hydrangea, and I realized that there was no new growth on them just yet. And so since there was no signs of green on them, I knew that there was nothing for that winter zap to freeze off. So there was no need for me to wrap any of those hydrangeas because there was no signs of that new growth just yet. But you're going to have to evaluate your own plants. Some Flower Tribe members have mentioned that they did see some new green growth on uh, their limelights and their Annabelles and their Incredibles. And so at that point, it was a good idea for them to provide that with some sort of winter protection from those cold storms because... Uh, that those cold winter temperatures that were you know beneath freezing would most likely like freeze some of that new growth off. The good news is that with hydrangeas like your limelight and your Annabelle, your Incredible, those hydrangeas would probably recover quickly and give you new growth from like the base of the plant in like a few weeks. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and please hop on over to my Cranberry Fields Instagram page and say hi to us over there. And also know that my online flower courses that teach you how to grow amazing flowers in your own backyards are on sale. I have them on my Retrieve online flower course library and I'll put that in descriptions below. And all the proceeds that I make for the month of March will 
be going to our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine to kind of help them. So please feel free to hop on over there and check those out. I also wanted you to know that I have a brand new podcast out. It's called Gardening Flowers with Kelly Lehman, and I will put that in descriptions below. And I hope you guys enjoy some of these quick, fun gardening tips that you can listen to while you're working out or carpooling with the kids or driving to work or gardening. And a lot of you have asked me to come up with that and you asked for it, you got it. So please let me know where you're viewing this from in this great, big, beautiful world. And I will see you in the next video.